Good morning. We find ourselves at the midpoint in the second week of our great penitential season of Lent. I would like to switch gears, if you will, just a little bit and speak uh, some more about the discipline of Lent itself and those three traditional components of the Lenten discipline, prayer, almsgiving, and penances or sacrifices. Of course, all of us, I think, have a pretty good and an accurate uh, understanding of what prayer is and why we pray. Prayer is our first and our most basic expression of faith in God. But for all of us, we certainly do believe in and love Almighty God. And so for us, especially in Lent, praying and even creating a, a regular and extra times each day for prayer is most important. The church understands that. The church as a very good mother to us all encourages us. Continue to pray as you have been but also increase your daily prayer in whatever form that may take. That's how important praying is. Now, with almsgiving, almsgiving is something that perhaps, it's a little older term uh, that we may not be all that familiar with, but almsgiving is essentially giving uh, as an act of true charity, love for God and therefore love for my neighbor, giving of my material wealth. But almsgiving in Lent is much more than just giving from what I don't actually need, whether it's extra clothing, a little extra money, or something of that nature. The discipline of Lent, of which almsgiving is the second element, means that because I do love God wholly and entirely and unconditionally, I give not from my surplus, but from what I myself need for daily living. That's a real sacrifice. That's true almsgiving, true charity. And then finally, <clears throat> as the church has always uh, listed the elements of the discipline of Lent, it is doing uh, some sacrifices or performing some works of personal penance. True penance is foregoing that which I myself need so that I can better serve God by serving my neighbor. So you see, all three of the elements are very much connected one to the other. And finally, the discipline of Lent, as the church urges us and encourages us to keep in these 40 days, is not meant to stop once we celebrate the great and glorious solemnity of Easter. What we do in Lent is meant to travel with us, so to speak, through Lent, through the Paschal Triduum, into the Easter season and beyond, into the way we pray, the way we speak and act each day of our lives, striving for greater and greater holiness of life. May God bless you and continue to sustain you as you strive to keep the great discipline of the Lenten season.